the average cost of a single record of breach data is around 150 dollars operational disruption legal and regulatory consequences and damage to reputation and trust are some of the major consequences in a breach of a customer's confidential and financial data hello and welcome to information security governance risk and compliance my name is salvador and today let's review oracle security let's get started point number one oracle installation and security oracle publishes security patches every quarter run the following command to check the status of current security patch installed on the database older version are vulnerable to cyber attacks make sure no older version or community version is installed in production run the following command to get the current version ensure the server hosting the database is not used for any other services or application installation account should be logged and should not be used for any other activities access to database software files and directories should be restricted by access control run the umask command on unix command prompt to get the response of 022 or 027 ensure the data dictionary is protected by setting 07 dictionary accessibility to false check and verify that the database is regularly scanned for vulnerabilities and required security patches are installed make sure underlying os is hardened as well ensure a warning banner is for unauthorized access is displayed after a successful login this helps in legal prosecution for unauthorized access the sec return server release banner parameter provides information about the exact patch update release that is currently running on the database. This makes reconnaissance easy for the hackers. Ensure the parameter is set to false. Resource limit parameter determines whether resource limits are enforced on database profiles with respect to CPU usage, session duration, and parallel execution. Ensure the parameter resource limit is set to true by running the following command unit number two roles and responsibilities dba is the most powerful and privileged user on the database make sure dba roles are periodically thoroughly monitored and access reviewed to detect malicious activities ensure unauthorized users are not granted dba privileges Use the following command to find out what users have DBA privileges. Similarly, ensure not all users have been granted system privileges. Use the following command to identify what users have been granted system privileges. In granting privileges or roles, it is important to grant the privileges or roles without the admin option as this allows the grantee to grant similar privileges to other users. To check if there are unauthorized users with admin option, run the following command. Similarly, to check if roles are granted with admin option, run the following command. And finally, to ensure only required rights are granted to the DBA on the underlying host server operating system, run this following command. Point number three, listener settings. Listener is a network component that listens to client requests and establishes a connection between the client and the database instance. Ensure admin underscore restrictions parameter is set to on. This will require admin password to change listener configurations and avoid unauthorized modifications. Listener log files may contain usernames and passwords in clear text. Hence, ensure listener log files are secured with restrictive access control. Point number four, audit and logging. The sys.aud dollar table contains all the records logs for the database, including DDL and DML commands. 
Hence, it is important to track any malicious attempts to access sys.aud dollar. Make sure all audit option is enabled on sys.aud dollar. Required access control is maintained. The audit underscore file underscore desk parameter specifies the operating system directory or location where the audit trail or logs are written. Ensure that directory is protected from unauthorized access or users. The system audit operations setting provides for the auditing of all user activities conducted under SysOper and SysDBA accounts. Hence, ensure audit Sys operations is set to true. Ensure audit underscore trail is set to OS. This will keep audit data separate from database. Ensure configuration and data is backed up and restoration is tested regularly and logs are retained as per compliance requirements. Make sure DR testing is planned and tested. Point number five, data security. Make sure sensitive and confidential data is encrypted and the data is transmitted securely using latest encryption algorithms. Run the following command to find out the encryption details. Check and verify that the data is masked wherever required. Check and verify that developers do not have access to production database and data directories. Ensure the transaction database and audit data files are stored in different directory. In case it's stored in the same directory, make sure that all three should have different permissions. Minimum six, network connectivity. Ensure remote administration is disabled. Check if parameter for remote underscore admin is set to no in the cman.ora file. The OS roles parameter in the Oracle database determines whether the roles of each usernames are managed by Oracle or underlying OS. And so OS underscore roles is set for Oracle, in which case the value should be false. The remote listener setting determines whether or not a valid listener can be established on the separate system from the database. Ensure the remote listener is empty by running the following command. The remote OS authent setting determines whether or not operating system roles with the attendant privileges are allowed for remote client connections. Ensure the value is set as false by running the following command. Setting remote OS underscore roles allow operating system authentication over an unsecured connection. Hence, ensure the value is set by false by running the following command. The sub max field login attempts parameter determines how many field logins are allowed before Oracle closes the login connection. Ensure it is not more than five. Point number seven, access control. Make sure privileged users are subject to multi-factor authentication and a strong password policy for all the users. Ensure password of default accounts are changed. The following command will display all users with default passwords. Ensure the following parameters are set for the password policy. Fail underscore login underscore attempts is the number of attempts after the lockout locks out should be less than or equal to five. Password lock time. Number of days the account will be locked out before it's unlocked should be greater than or equal to one. Password lifetime, this password age, less than or equal to 90. Password underscore reuse underscore max, the number of passwords used before reusing the same password, greater than or equal to 20. Password reuse time, the number of days the same password can be used again, greater than or equal to 365. Password grace time. After how many days a password days a password expires before the account gets locked out? Less than or equal to five. DBA users password. This allows user can be authenticated remotely to the database with full rights, 
should be set should not be set to ex any external user. Password verify function. This will assign a password policy. So you're encouraged to have a password uh, verify function. Sessions per user. The number of user sessions that are allowed should be less than or equal to 10. Also ensure no users are assigned with default profile. Make sure database account passwords are stored in encoded or in encrypted format. And finally, point number eight, access to commands and programs. There are some very sensitive and powerful commands and functions that needs to be provided with restrictive access control. Ensure the access to the following commands are revoked for regular users. Ensure proxy users are granted privileges of connect only. Ensure the following packages are revoked with execute rights from public. These are vulnerable components and can be used to run malicious commands. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next video.